Hey there guys, uh, <laughs> my voice sounds still, sounds pretty weird, <clears throat> uh, froggish, um, I'm still trying to get over that damn flu stuff, I mean as far as like the contagious part of it, that's totally gone, but I just, uh, still struggling with some drainage, and I think that's what's making my uh, throat a little hoarse. <clears throat> And then the occasional cough, especially when someone makes me laugh. Man, I start coughing like a crazy person. But anyway, uh, I'm on my way to uh, work harder gym. Uh, we're going to do some event training today. And uh, I'll give you a little bit more uh, uh, information on, on, on what that's about and, and the next competition that I'm uh, going to be in in just a little bit. So uh, I'm going to finish driving there. Um, we'll take that long and then I'll get back with you. All right, guys, we made it to work harder. So this is, this is the basic, uh, outline. Uh, first, it's very important to, uh, make sure you have something to replenish yourself with as you're working out. Also, it's like what the doctor tells you, um, to always drink your fluids when you're sick. Um, uh, a company that I love, uh, Element, uh, this is the orange flavor, I believe. Uh, this is a great way when you're training, um, if you're not feeling well, you need to have some uh, fluids, electrolytes. Uh, this is such a cleaner product than something like Gatorade or Powerade or something like that. Um, you know, those things are, are good um, um, and they kind of got the, the, the ball rolling, but they have uh, a lot of extra stuff in it sugar and, and, and some other stuff in it that I can't even pronounce but uh, with element what you're getting is um, a healthy dose of sodium potassium and magnesium and what that does is it really it really provides the correct amount the right level of electrolytes of minerals back into your body because if you're sick you're probably sweating especially if you have if you, blah, 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 blah. If you have a fever and then of course when you're in the gym doing your thing you're gonna sweat. Uh, I love water. I get 80 to 100 uh, uh, ounces of water in every day. I at least I try to. Um, but uh, the water by itself is not gonna replace those minerals that your body is craving. And especially if you're really putting in a lot of effort, and I hope you are, I don't care if you're 15 or you're 75, if you're putting in maximum effort, to stay in, in, in really good health, uh, you're gonna need that. You're gonna need those minerals replaced to keep up that level of intensity. So definitely check out Element. Um, I'm gonna put down here, uh, it's a link uh, for you guys. Um, what Element has done is provided a way that if you purchase a box of, of uh, one of their flavors, um, you will get a free sample pack. That'll give you the opportunity to try some of the other flavors and, and think, you know, hey, I like this one better than the one I bought. So it's, it's a great opportunity for you to, to, to buy a package and then to get a sample pack for free. So I highly encourage you to do that. It's a fantastic product and uh, you're not gonna go wrong with it. Um, but uh, back to what we're doing today, we're doing some event training. Um, I signed up for another competition. Uh, it's gonna be May 5th in uh, Scott City, Missouri. Uh, it's a little bit, I guess, a suburb or just a little bit south of Cape Girardeau. Um, so it'll, it'll be exciting to go there and, and participate in that event. Um, so let's just walk through some of uh, some of what the events are. So the first one that I'm going to do, and, I, and I'll show you in a minute, uh, it's, it is a, um, a sandbag um, overhead press and with, 
leading into an axle bar. Uh, so for the competition, I believe uh, the sandbag is 100 pounds, and I think that's what the one here weighs. Um, and then <clears throat> that leads into a 225 pound axle overhead press. So, um, which that's gonna be interesting. Uh, 225 is, is my PR. So uh, to be able to try and do that for reps, we'll see what happens. I mean, the 53 year old dad can only do so much, but you know, I got about two and a half months of training uh, before, the, before the, the competition. So we'll see what we can do. So uh, let's get to this. And um, I just highly encourage you, especially for you dads out there, you know, do something. It doesn't have to be weights. Uh, I, mean, I, th I think weights are great. Um, in my opinion, in my doctor's opinion, uh, strength training uh, is great stress to put on the heart. I'm not saying that other things aren't either, but I know weights are a great way to put that stress on the heart for you to have really good uh, heart health. Um, the number one cause of uh, deaths for men over 50 is heart related problems. So if, if you can do some things to ensure that you have a healthy heart, I think you're gonna live a long, happy life. And it doesn't say you're not gonna get something else, but at least the number one uh, killer uh, you can, you can uh, subdue and take down and beat the crap out of. So let's get to the training. Okay, I'm gonna talk now because I know afterwards I'm not gonna have the breath. Um, so what this event is, is you have a 425 pound yoke that you have to bring down 50 feet and then you go back halfway down and you do a Denny stone, Denny ring, 25 feet. So you gotta do that under the under a minute. So uh, that's the object, that is the task at hand. Um, I've already had three sets of it. I'm working on my fourth one. Whew. Sorry guys, I'm a little, a little out of breath. This is actually the first, uh, the first uh, cardio strongman thing I've trained for in quite a while on top of recovering from having the flu. So I think I'm doing okay. 
Uh, right now I have 450 on the bar. So I'm 25 pounds over what competition will be. Um, the Denny Stones, I do not remember the weight that it will be for competition, but what I have right now is uh, the Denny Stones, one side is heavier than the other. So I, I try to uh, have the heavier side with my dominant hand. And so right now I have uh, 110 on the right and 90 on the left. So that's, that's what I'm doing today. Um, yeah, there's nothing left to say, then let's get to it. Ah. warmed up out of the four sets that actually was the easiest and prettiest one all right i'm gonna go some element okay guys um another event in the competition okay i think it's called don't quote me fat back farmers carry um I don't have either the farmer's carry uh, bars that are you know, by themselves, nor do I have a uh, hex trap bar here, because you could train either way. But what it is, it's, it's 175 pounds in each hand. <sighs> and I don't know exactly how it's gonna go in the competition. I think what it's gonna do is you've got to go down like a traditional farmer's carry. You gotta go down 50 feet. And then when you get down to that, that line, you do five or six deadlifts with the implement. Then you turn around and you run 50 feet back. And then that event is complete. I do not have anything here to train with for that. Um, I would like to to uh, either go to a friend of mine's gym that I know has some of those, or I might even buy some myself. I mean, I think you can get a decent pair of them for like 200 bucks or right around there. Um, I might even get on like Facebook Marketplace or eBay and see if maybe somebody has some used ones that they're selling cheaper. I don't know. We'll see what I can find. But, so we're gonna skip that event. Um, the next event is there is a uh, three sandbag carry for 50 feet, I believe. Um, I don't remember the weights on it, but um, I don't think they're that bad. I think, I think maybe it's like one's like 125, 145 or 155, and then I think the last one's 175. So they're not super, super heavy. Um, I've got a 200 pound sandbag at home that will be great to train with because that'll be 25 pounds over the heaviest weight. So that'll be awesome. But here, what I'm gonna do is, um, I know they've got a 100 pound sandbag that we used earlier uh, with the overhead press. And then I have, the, I think they have either a 45 or a 50 pound throwing sandbag that I'll just pick up and run with. And then I think they have I don't, they had some medicine balls too, and I think the heaviest one might be 30 pounds. But just to kind of get the, the motion in, the movement, to be able to pick it up, 
run, drop, run. And so to do that three separate times just to get, get that rhythm, I think, I think that'll be some good training. Um, this is actually a really good functional uh, uh, lift or exercise, whatever you want to call it. Um, just think about it. If you're, if you're lifting between 145 and 175, if you're in a situation where maybe there's a fire or there's some sort of riot or a, uh, a lone shooter or hell, even the zombie apocalypse and you're with someone who gets injured, this is actually a practical uh, training to be able to be in, pick that person up and run with them. So this is very functional. So I'm gonna get set up, then we'll knock this out. I think it's time to fight back, dawg, they won't like that. Heavy wear it, some wear it, that's where the fight's at. I think it's time to fight back, dawg, they won't like that. Heavy wear it, some wear it, that's where the fight's at. I think it's time to fight back, dawg, they won't like that. Heavy wear it, some wear it, that's where the fight's at. I think it's time to fight back. As you can tell, the vegetables only went up to 30 pounds. So just for a little bit more weight, I just got a, a 45 pound bumper to give me 15 extra pounds. Okay guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. Uh, the hard thing about getting in this uh, lunchtime workout is I only have so much time uh, to take off from work to be able to, to uh, put in the time and effort that I need to do uh, my event training. Uh, there's five events. Um, I was able to get three of them done today. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, like, like we talked about earlier, we didn't get a chance to do the fat back farmers. Um, and then the last event, is basically the standard circus dumbbell uh, clean and press uh, overhead. So the nice thing about this gym is they've actually got the, the, the fat grips so I can put that on their dumbbells to be able to kind of get that same type of grip that will be on uh, the circus dumbbell because it's, you know, it's almost kind of like this loading pin. It's got that almost uh, inch and a half, two inch uh, circumference that you're holding on to, that you're having that, that to have that grip strength for. Um, so the fat grip kind of gets close to that. I don't know if it's exact, but it's better than the natural grip that it has or the, the, the what came with it. Uh, but it's basically, it's, it's uh, you're cleaning precedent to this position and then it's reps for a minute. How many reps you can get. I th and I think the, uh, the, the weight on it is uh, 90 pounds. So, uh, okay. Sorry. I, uh, usually at lunch, the nice thing about the uh, the side of the facility that has the uh, strongman equipment is usually at lunchtime during the week hardly anybody that comes to this side they mostly go to the other side that has the bulk of the equipment but uh uh had another athlete or person come in and and i always feel weird about talking and filming i think if i'm, I'm if i'm just filming the lift or the exercise i don't feel too bad but if i'm sitting here talking to you guys um i mean you know there's a, there's a thing called gym etiquette and you know you don't want to maybe offend somebody accidentally or I mean, maybe they're shy about the camera. I don't know. But just, you know, always try to respect the other people in the gym. But uh, but like I was saying, 
it was the uh, the dumbbell overhead press was that last event where you uh you bring it up and and uh and then press it for for time and see how many repetitions you can get um another thing is that loading pin i was showing you a minute ago uh that is great for kind of replicating the denny stone all you gotta do is like on Amazon, I think the loading pins, you get two of them for like 25 bucks. And then uh, the handles, which you can pretty much get anywhere. Um, uh, but I wanted to make sure these actually could, could hold a fair amount of weight. Um, <clears throat> I got those on Amazon for like 15 bucks for the set. So it's not terribly expensive. So, but anyway, I think this video has been a little bit too long. So I'm gonna let you guys go. You know, if my fat ass can uh do this you can do anything you know find something you like and do it because if you can believe it you can certainly achieve it i know that's kind of corny but it's true so go out there be the best that you can be be nice to folks and above all else get your fit on